determine if the following planes are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And we have two planes here. Our first plane is x plus y plus 4z equals 15. And our second plane is minus x minus 3y plus z equals 15. So to get us started here, I want to begin by recalling the equation of a plane. Because we know that we can determine the relationship of two planes based off of their normal vectors. So how do we identify the plane's normal vector? Well, we know the general equation of a plane is defined as ax plus by plus cz is equal to d. And this is such that the normal vector n is defined by the components a, b, c. So we can see here that the normal vector is determined by the coefficients of the variables. So now that we have refreshed our memories on the equation of a plane and how to identify the normal vector, let's think about what we are given here. So again, we, have, we are given two beautiful planes. We have the first plane is defined as x plus y plus 4z is equal to 15. And so looking at this, looking at this plane's coefficients, or the coefficients of each variable, we can see that the normal vector of the first plane has the components 1, 1, 4. And then we are also given the plane minus x minus 3y plus z is equal to 15. And looking at each variable's coefficients, we see that this plane has a normal vector defined by the components negative 1, negative 3, 1. So now we need to determine, are these planes parallel? Are they orthogonal? Or are they neither? So let's check if they're parallel first. So parallel, question mark. And looking at these two normal vectors, we think, no way, they're not parallel. These planes are not parallel to each other. Why? Well, these two vectors have no scalar multiples. Vector n sub 1 does not equal a scalar multiple of vector n sub 2. They have no common factors. So this confirms that these two vectors are not parallel, and thus the two planes are not parallel. What about orthogonal? How can we determine if the two planes are orthogonal? Well, we need to take the dot product. So we're going to take the dot product of the first normal vector with the second normal vector, and we'll see what happens. So plugging this in, we have the first normal vector is defined as 1, 1, 4. And we dot this with the second normal vector, minus 1, minus 3, positive 1. And so performing the dot product, we have... 1 times negative 1 gives us minus 1, plus we have 1 times minus 3, which is negative 3. So obviously, negative times a positive is going to leave us with a minus. And then this is plus, we have 4 times 1, which is 4. And would you look at this? We get 0. Woohoo! So we can say that therefore... Since the dot product of vector n sub 1 and n sub 2 is equal to 0, we know that these two vectors are orthogonal. So vector n sub 1 and x sub n sub 2 are orthogonal vectors, which further allows us to conclude that therefore their two respective planes are also orthogonal. And so this is our beautiful final answer.